Between November 27th and December 17th, there have been 10 separate reports of vehicles being struck by gunfire. Eight have occurred in Fresno County, and two have occurred in Madera County, and Sheriff Jay Varney of Madera County is joining us here today. Only one of these cases have resulted in the injury of a person, um, a female who was, we believe, wounded by shrapnel uh, as she sat in her vehicle. We have not determined what a motive is or could be for these shootings. They all appear to be completely random. They've all happened in the same area of Fresno County in the outskirts of the city of Kerman. Most all occurred at the beginning and end of traditional commute hours. A common thread in all the reports is that the victims say they heard loud bangs as another vehicle passed them, going the opposite direction in the roadway. They later inspect their vehicles and find bullet holes in various places. Numerous victims have given deputy sheriffs a description in general of the suspect vehicle. That description is a dark colored pickup with an extended cab or crew cab and lifted body with oversized tires. We do like to announce also today, and I have Dave Knott from Valley Crime Stoppers, that Crime Stoppers has increased the reward. So now they are offering a $3,000 reward for any leads leading to those responsible for these shootings. We have a multi-agency effort going on, not only with the Fresno County Sheriff's Office, we have significant resources that we've put towards this, but also the Madera County Sheriff's Office and the California Highway Patrol. We're all working together to try and solve these crimes. It's a top priority, and we do, again, have significant resources out there. Our challenge is many of our victims wait some time before they call. Either they will wait until they get to their destination, or in some case, they've waited up to three days before they report that their vehicle has been hit by gunfire. What I'm asking the public to do is, if this happens to you, to get to a place of safety first and then call 911 and let us know as soon as possible that this has happened. Uh, we will have resources out there, multi-agency, uh, so that we can respond as quickly as possible. As you can tell by the map, even though it looks like all of these shootings are very close, that's several square miles. So it's in a very rural area, um, several square miles apart in each of these shootings. It is interesting that uh, these are look like they're happening during commute hours. Uh, three of the shootings have happened in the morning between the hours of 6.40 and 6.30. Seven of the shootings have occurred uh, in the p.m. hours, most of them between 2.20 and 4.40 in the afternoon. One happened later at night, and they occur when vehicles are in motion. So as vehicles pass each other is when these um, shootings are occurring. Uh, and many times the victims think maybe another vehicle has thrown up a rock. Uh, however, we're asking that you think twice about that, and it could be something more and to give us a call, especially if you're in these areas. To the suspect, um, this is a cowardly act, and we are working very hard to find you. We will hold you responsible. Um, this kind of indiscriminate activity will not be tolerated in Fresno County, and we're all working together to find you. Uh, again, we only have one person so far that have has been injured. Uh, however, that's only because of luck. Uh, it, if this keeps going, it's going to be a matter of time before we have a murder investigation, and that's what we're trying to avoid.